She showed up positive and then she's like, she blamed a burrito. Okay. The U.S. Olympic contender blames her pork burrito for positive doping tests. That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> How many of you heard this story? She showed up positive and then she's like, she blamed a burrito. Okay. The burrito was purchased from a authentic Mexican food truck near the athlete's home. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it was the burrito. I'm sure it was the burrito. Does she have red hair? Well, that gives you the answer right there. An American Olympic runner has blamed a pork burrito for a positive doping test that led to a four-year ban from competing in international sports, including the Tokyo Games this summer. After she learned of the ban on Friday, the athlete Shelby Houlihan said the burrito she had 10 hours before her December urine test probably caused her to test positive for nandrolone, a performance-enhancing steroid. Matt Damon. The four year, okay. <laughs> she tested, pause. She tested positive for a performance enhancing steroid and blamed a burrito. If that was the case, you would think like Mexicans would be absolutely fucking yoked. Yo, can you imagine? You go to Mexico for vacation, you're lifting, just eating burritos all the time. And I'll just come back just swole as fuck. I, y'all, I don't know what's been going on. All I do is lift weights and eat burritos all day long, y'all. Jesus Christ. That's what happens when you eat burritos, fam. Don't do it. The four-year ban means Houlihan, a former Olympian who holds the U.S. record in the 1,500 and 5,000 meters, will be forced to sit out at the Tokyo Olympics, as well as the 2024 Paris Games. In a Tuesday post on Instagram, she said she had never even heard of Nandrolone, yet the uh, the cook at the Mexican taco cart knows, until she was told of her test result last week. That's a pretty good sting operation, though, right? If you're trying to sabotage her, you're like, okay, bring her to the burrito cart. We're going to inject the burrito. That's not even, Is that even how it works? You eat the burrito? I guess you could have it be oral. I'm sure I'm not a steroids expert by any stretch. Like, I guess you just drop it in there. Just put it in there and just stuff it, stuff it in there. I got to hear more about this though. I didn't read the story yet. She said that nandrolone can be found in pork, especially pig offal, which is the organs. And the source of the steroid in her system most likely came from the burrito. She bought at an authentic Mexican food truck near her house in Beaverton, Oregon. It's, I guess if they're injecting the pork, it, it, I guess it's possible, right? If you're giving the animals a lot of like steroids, you're trying to jack them up before you slaughter them. It could be if you're getting real low quality. I don't know. It doesn't sound like something they would inject in a, <laughs> in a pig though. The athlete claimed that her levels of nandrolone were consistent with subjects in studies who were tested 10 hours after eating this source. But she said her defense was unfairly dismissed by the World Anti-Doping Agency. Imagine if she's correct, if she's right. You know, she's just getting railroaded. Quote, I did everything I could to prove my innocence. I passed a polygraph test. Yeah, but those don't count. I had my hair sampled by one of the world's foremost toxicologists. Though WADA agreed, WADA is the World Anti-Doping Agency, while they agreed with Houlihan that there was no buildup of nandrolone in her system, proven by a negative test taken five weeks later, a single positive test could still lead to a ban. Can you imagine if she really, that's brutal. That's tough. All right, let's see here. This is a curious story. The Athletics Integrity Unit, doesn't sound woke. The regulatory body that issued the ban said she violated the World Anti-Doping Code, which states that it's athletes' personal duty to ensure that no prohibited substance enters their body. Nandrolone is an anabolic steroid. When prescribed, it can be used for testosterone replacement therapy and treatment of HIV wasting syndrome, the involuntary weight loss seen in people with HIV. Anabolic steroids are sometimes taken to increase muscle mass and improve an athlete's performance. Doping regulations have thus prohibited nandrolone for over 20 years. I arrive in America's airport with clothing, U.S. dollars, and a jar of gypsy tears to protect me from AIDS. That's because she didn't have a jar of gypsy tears. Everybody, everybody knows if you're going to the Olympics, if you're doing international travel, if you are preparing for the performance of a lifetime, 
don't leave your gypsy tears at home. That's just not a good fucking move. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. There's nothing else to say about that. Except for this. A study founded by the World Anti-Doping Agency or Association, I forget what the A stands for at the end, the organization that issued the ban recognized that trace amounts of nandrolone can be found in pork, no shit, and can be detected in human urine samples if consumed. The positive test left Houlihan completely devastated, lost, broken, angry, confused, and betrayed by the very sport that I've loved and poured myself into just to see how good I was, she said. She said she would fight to prove her innocence. During a press conference on Monday, Houlihan's attorney, Paul Green, implored the WADA to report that the positive result as an atypical finding and to test Houlihan again and not to ruin an innocent athlete based on one abnormal result. Green said that he was considering appealing to the result, appealing the result to the Swiss Federal Tribunal. This sounds intense, like the Inquisition or something. In the past, there have been similar cases of athletes being suspended for trace for traces of banned steroids found in certain meats. Oh, make sure you're getting good fucking sources. Uh, just for completion, let's just follow the last part here just for totality. In February, Kenyan distance runner James Kibet got banned from the sport for four years after testing positive for nandrolone. Kibet, or Kibet, admitted to the doping violation, but he also suggested the steroid could have entered his body through pork meat. Well, fucking hell. That's why this bacon's so damn good. Similarly, the Athletics Integrity Unit said it was his personal duty to ensure he didn't ingest any prohibited substance. Hey, if you're competing at a high level, I guess ditch the pork. In October 2019, Thai badminton star Rachanok in Tanon, all right, who cares? You play badminton, get the fuck out of here, was cleared of doping, viol- doping violations after testing positive for clenbuterol, a substance that was linked to meat she ate at a barbecue restaurant. <laughs> badminton, badminton, badminton. Badminton. I know if you look at competitive badminton, it's like, wow, that's impressive. But anything at a high level is impressive, but come on. Crown. You are the king in the policy.